Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another episode of talking about the eight stages of psychosocial development. Last time we talked about the stage of autonomy versus shame and doubt. Today, tying into that more or less, we're going to be talking about initiative versus guilt. The third of the stages. This one specifically takes place during your preschool years, so between the ages of three and six. Now... This is where, like the previous one, I think I brought this up to a specific degree, but the previous one kind of talks about like the te teaching a very, at a very, very, very young age, um, and when you make the, you're kind of creating your own morals at a very early age. Well, three to six is kind of where you're taught right from wrong, so those morals can be very altered. Um, and that's kind of where initiative versus guilt really starts to come into play. Um, a good example of this would be something that I've gone through. Uh, my parents, especially my mom, who was legitimately a preschool teacher for a while, um, kind of have been under this experience a lot. But I digress from what I was going to say. A good experience would definitely be that kind of thing, where my mom, she she taught several different types of, you know, teach good from bad kind of things. Several of them were taught, like all, all the ones she knew of were definitely taught to me. Now, whether I acted on it or not um, was really it, it just depends. I actually remember one of the first times, like, the, the farthest lie back that I remember telling is a very good example of initiative versus guilt. Um, I think we were living in the house that my parents rented. It was one that, I think it was rented. Maybe. Um, yeah. It was a house that we got. We were renting at the time. It was the one right before the house that my mom had te taught preschool in. To, I, I think she did it for maybe about a year. I might be wrong, so don't quote me on that. Anyway, um, at some point while living in this said house, I lied about something. Quite frankly, I can't remember what it was. I'm pretty sure I was like six years old or five years old when I did this. Honestly, I don't remember. Um, but my parents pulled me aside and asked me what I did wrong. I told them I don't know. Nowadays, if I were to say that, that won't fly. I'm 27 years old at this point. If I, if I said, I don't know what I did wrong after lying, BS. <laughs> um, but I told a little white lie. I, as I said, I can't remember what it was, but... They sat down on the couch with me and explained why doing it was wrong. At that point, it wouldn't have been considered in, under the category of initiative versus guilt because at the time, for me, at least for my mindset, I had no idea what I was doing and why, why it was wrong. Now, fast forward to any point where I had lied to them at some random given point in time because I was a kid. You gotta expect this off a kid at least a few times. Um, and, I mean, from that point on, it, it the initiative versus guilt, that's where that really starts to settle in. Um, like, because that's where the... Depending on the person, it could either be because of the punishment that you feel guilt, which it's fake guilt, but it's guilt nonetheless. Um, or you could, you know, feel genuine, oh, I did wrong, what have I been doing, kind of guilt. It really depends on the person. But the lies or the wrongdoings that you've already been taught against that you get in trouble for as, you know, three to six year old, that's where it really starts to settle in on, oh, crap, why did I do that? Kind of like feeling actual guilt or initiative. Initiative is the other side of the spectrum. 
you do an act, a random act of kindness, or, you know, an act of random kindness, an arc. When you act well, you do some kind of service that benefits other people. At the ages of three to six, you're shown what good deeds can give you that good feeling, warm, fuzzy feeling inside that a lot of people think of. Those feelings are what that initiative is. You take initiative and pride in the things that you do. And not the kind of pride that's the seventh deadly sin that we'll be talking about at some point in the near future, hopefully. I'm talking about pride as in you're proud of yourself for doing good. Initiative, the initiative approach of an act that you do, if you end up being proud of yourself for it, that's that end. That's that side of the spectrum. Like, say as a kid, your mom is exhausted, or your dad is exhausted, depending on your scenario, who and who's home at the time, or your guardian, or, you know, whoever's watching over you at the time. You see them, and you go, they look tired, I should help with this blank, even if it's something small, especially for a young kid. It's something small. Say, you know what? I'm going to sweep the kitchen floor, something like that. You do it. Parents walk in and they'll, first of all, if you're if you're usually the opposite side, they'll probably be shocked. But second of all, if you're not, they'll just be really happy. They'll be relieved. And that will trigger that initiative side. That initiative is the action that you had just made if you were doing that. And the outcome included. It's an interesting process to think about, but at the same time, it does make sense. If the opposing side is guilt, the initiative side is going to be the positive thing to do, the right choice. It's like good and bad. Sorry, good, bad. I said guilt was this side, so this side's bad. <laughs> um, but regardless, taking the initiative to help someone can be I know I'm saying that word a lot, but it is, you know, part of the topic today. Stepping forward to help someone goes a long way. But honestly, so can making a mistake. You make a mistake and you feel guilty over it, so you learn from it. Now, sometimes the learning takes longer for others than a one individual can. but that, And that's fine. Regardless... It helps you progress in life. Now, it really also determined. This is also determined on the people you hang around. It's not just parents at this point, or just generic family members. It could be friends. It could be anything. It could be literal bystanders. If your action impacts someone in a way that you see negative, you're gonna feel guilt. If the action you make and you see what what you see is something positive out of it, <laughs> that's the initiative side. It's an interesting topic to think about for me, and I'm not going to go too much longer, because at this point, if I said anything else, it'd be a loop, but this is definitely one of the most, in my opinion, most impactful of the eight stages of psychosocial development. Because it's a link. It is a link to... I mean, the next few. It'll li kind of like how the first stage was to the previous stage, autonomy versus shame and doubt. You can't really trigger that stage unless you hit the trust side of the first one. And I've said this already. In this case, initiative versus guilt, whichever one you end up leaning towards most and grow more used to, that will impact the next stages, few stages presented. But that is to be discussed another day. I'm going to leave this video here. What are your guys' thoughts on this particular stage? Initiative versus guilt. If you have any experiences that you would like to share, or you have any thoughts in general about this particular stage you'd like to um, exert, why not let us know in the comments below? If you're enjoying this series so far, why not push that like button and 
Sorry for the loudness. So far, you can't see it anymore. And if you really like this kind of stuff, why not consider subscribing to the channel? We talk about psychological stuff very often, actually. Uh, well, we being me for the most part, because the other two are still kind of... Host, Pink Fox being co-host at times, Aaron being scripter, and soon those... I mean, Pink Fox's manager as well, Aaron will be more soon enough, given the way he's going. But regardless, yeah. I don't know. Uh, why not uh, check out the channel itself? If this is not quite floating your boat. Click links on the side of my head and maybe that'll help out as well. Um, or, you know, if you haven't yet, why not consider subscribing to the channel itself? If you want to support the crew. In the meantime, we're going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this uh, episode of the eight stages of psychosocial development, guys. Hope to see you guys in the next. Bye for now.